Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the First Battle of Murfreesboro, located in Rutherford County, Tennessee, on July 13, 1862. On June 10, 1862, Union Major General Don Carlos Buell, yes, you all remember him from our earlier episodes, was still in command of the Army of the Ohio. He advanced his men towards Chattanooga to take the city, while Confederate Brigadier General James S. Negley was attempting to stop him. By July, the Confederates were desperate and needed to try and put pressure on the Union troops. Confederate leadership ordered Brigadier General Nathan Bedford Forrest and Colonel John Hunt Morgan to join up and hit the Union supply centers. On July 9th, more than 1,400 Confederate cavalry assembled. Their purpose was to strike the Union supply center at Murfreesboro on the Nashville and Chattanooga Railroad. This was to be done on July 13th. Murfreesboro was defended by 900 Union troops and spread across three locations around the town. The defending units comprised of infantry, cavalry, and artillery under the command of Brigadier General Thomas Turpin Crittenden, who had only just arrived on July 12th. Forrest commanded his cavalry to perform a surprise attack on July 13th, and they were able to overrun the Union 9th Pennsylvania Cavalry Regiment's camp on Woodbury Pike, along with the Union hospital that was there. The remaining Union troops were able to form up two different groups to resist the attacks. Forrest demanded an unconditional surrender from the Union troops, which resulted in one of the Union groups surrendering immediately. The other group, under the command of U.S. Colonel Henry C. Lester, later surrendered when they were fooled into believing the Confederate troops were larger in number. The Confederates destroyed supplies and the rail lines in Murfreesboro, cutting off vital supplies to the Union troops. This also changed the direction of the Union Army from attacking Chattanooga back to retaking Murfreesboro, allowing Confederate General Braxton Bragg to concentrate on his future September offensive into Kentucky. Total estimated casualties, including wounded, captured, and killed for the Union, were 890 out of 900 men, while the Confederates lost 150 men out of their 1,400. Please join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition.